Oh, wow. Feeling it in here. Yeah. Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Did you see something right over there? What'd you see? It was like a fog. And then it just disappeared when it I put my light yeah, towards it? Yeah, as soon as the light hit it, it was gone. That's what Captain did when he turned on the light. He said it turned towards him, and then he turned this on and disappeared. I'm hooked up to y'all's audio, y'all's mics. And I am hearing footsteps walking around in the room that y'all are in right now. He's hearing something that might be an EB EVP phenomenon, so maybe we should start an EVP. OK. We believe that this was a room that was used by nurses who were treating those with the yellow fever. Did you work here in the home? Did you hear that? That sounded like a, a low echo, like a, like a vent. Was it like something falling down the fireplace, Ben? No, this is a brick fireplace. That was so weird. That's funny. My necklace just came off. Look at that. Look at this. I just, I had it clasped earlier. Chair. Really weird. Like, it's missing a piece. Like it, like, it broke off. How? It's not like you were doing anything. Jewelry. Dude, jewelry. Oh, my gosh. I don't think it's a coincidence that Pam has been talking about jewelry going missing. It's missing this part. It's sheared off. And now Ben's necklace literally fell off his neck. I think there's a spirit here doing this. You want my jewelry? We're not getting any true answers just yet, but we're getting uh, we're getting messed with. That's a long EVP we got okay. on this guy. I got a review. Great, okay, guys. Let's break for lunch, guys. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, Sam. You're not gonna love this. Okay. What's going on, man? I, I want I want the crew in here too. Because I want you guys were all we were all having lunch. I come back here to review this EVP tape. Okay. As I'm watching this on four squares, let me show you what. We, Are let you okay? me show you what we freaking captured. Watch right here. Okay. Just watch. Oh my I'm gosh. Watch. Watch. Okay. Okay. Right about here. And I was here watching it live. I know for a fact nobody came in or out of that house and I was watching it live oh as I were doing these EVPs. I have never, ever seen anything like this on TV, out of TV, anything I've ever done. So this is a full freaking body apparition. Jesus. All the way down with the dress down to the ground. You see through that thing. You can literally see through it, dude. You, you can, can see the see background as it walks through right you there on the bottom. It. But this time like we get the whole uniform. We captured the whole thing that I think is probably a nurse. Guess what? I'm sold. The rest of the cast and the entire crew were at a meal break, and I was sitting in the ghost coach, and there's definitely no one here wearing a long white dress. I know what I saw. I know it was captured. We have to do our due diligence. I need somebody to walk that path. Sarah, go. Kay. Go, go, Sarah. So much of the figure that we captured on an infrared camera is actually translucent. There's, there's also very little detail on the head. OK, I'm in. So we want to see what an actual person would look like retracing those same steps from the same camera angle, same camera, same lighting. OK, make sure Scott's floodlight um, is off for this. Um, we can, okay, now it's off. If Sarah appears to be a solid form from head to toe and we hear her footsteps, 
then there's a chance we've actually captured a full body apparition of the nurse who's haunting this plantation. Okay, and uh, when you're ready, nice slow walk past that doorway. Oh, can you see in here? Just so we're clear, it's pitch black. Sarah, if you can't see there, someone who's an actual person would have had to know that route very well without tripping or falling. This thing, whatever it was, it wasn't stumbling, it was, it was floating. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, stop. Okay, you look like you. You can see Sarah's head and her entire body in solid form, but this other figure, it looks more translucent. And there's not as much detail on the face or head. It, it almost looks like her hair might be pulled up in a bun. Plus, listen to this. You can clearly hear Sarah's footsteps on the floor, but the other figure isn't making any sound at all. Let's go back. I want to go into that room. I want to talk to her. OK. Let's do it. We didn't get any EVPs earlier, but the good news is Diane actually found the name of the nurse who's in the photograph on the wall here. So we want to verify if Mina Nordoff is the spirit who's haunting this home. All right, let's get everything set up. If you walk with me near this device, it lights up. I just need you to get as close as you can to me. If you were brought to the plantation to help with the yellow fever, if you were left here to work with those who are sick and dying. <laughs> See, it's getting me? really cold. It's okay. spiked. Do I have a nurse here that helped with yellow fever? Can you please just come into this room? Whoa. Whoa! It's going off here, too. It just went all around the entire room. It like went off at the same time, it like the whole also room like spiked. Went off in there. All devices just you fired. You have the mel meter there and the REM pods there? The REM pods in the other room, yes. Did you by chance take the jewelry? Please come into this room, come close to me. If you know where the jewelry went. Okay. Just happened here too. Are you angry about something? Are you frustrated that there's not enough supplies? Whoa, whoa. That just spiked off the charts. What did you just ask? If she was upset that they didn't have enough supplies, there wasn't enough to take care of everybody. Can I try something? I'd like to know who she is, and maybe she might feel a connection to me. Ma'am? Can you let me know if I say your name, if this is you? Ma'am, are you Mina Nordoff? 